the Timbits. I wanted to ask you a question, Chad. Did you vote in HXC Awards 2023? Because if you didn't, first of all, the hell? Second of all, uh, here's the link. Right now, though, I want to go through it with you. Right here on the side I have pulled up, HXC Awards 2023, the comeback of the beloved end of the year show from yours truly, me. <laughs> uh, HXC Awards is something that we do annually for those of you who are new here, where we basically pick you know, the best of the best in a couple of categories, as you can see I have here, best cover art, best music video, blah, blah, blah. And we have a bunch of uh, nominees that we previously picked in the Discord. And uh, yeah, we've been doing this for six years. I think, I think I'm one of the first ones to um, actually do like a proper like metalcore vote through like Google Forms with the uh, uh, audience. So I'm, I'm happy that's catching on. I'm happy more people are doing that with their audiences. It's super fun to see. This year is going to be a little different. So you know how every year we've had two rounds of voting? One where we have like 10 to 30 nominees in each category. And then the second one where we have top five in each after the first round. The reason I was doing that is because like once we narrow down the top five, I wanted to be, I wanted people to have a chance to vote for a winner. The reason this is different is we only have one round this year. I know it says round two here, but I changed it midway through because uh, this format, the way it works, is you get to pick three. You get to pick top three in each category. It helps you pick more favorites in each category, and it helps me get a more widespread result. So, for example, if you voted uh, for the best album being Polaris, but you also really like the new of Mice and Men, you don't have to pick either or, you can pick both. But, you know, of course, the best album will still get the most votes. So, I decided that I wanted to go through these categories with you, Chad, today, before we jump into the new Unprocessed album, of course, and um, touch on these a little bit, and I'll vote. I'll vote, I'll, I'll see what um, what I would pick in each category. December 25th, 2023 is gonna be the day when I premiere this awards show with all the results. Uh, last day to vote is going to be Thursday, December 21st. So you still have like a week and a half to vote, but the Christmas day will pre be premiering the awards show like we, o we always do. So let's get started, let's get started. Uh, best cover art of the year. This one is... Kind of tough, actually, because this year we had a lot of super fun cover arts. And it's super exciting because I love cover arts. Because that's like one of the most important things, the touch points uh, between the listener and the artist. Because that's the thing you look at. I will say Guilt Trip is very, very nice looking. So I'll vote for Guilt Trip because it's this this one is just gorgeous. I also vote for Invent and Animate, of course, because, uh, I mean... And... For the last one, I will actually pick Veil of Maya, because it is beautiful. Veil of Maya is actually a really gorgeous cover art. Best music video. Hmm, this one's tough. Uh, this one is, is a little difficult because there's a lot of really, really awesome music videos that a lot of people didn't see. So naturally, the most popular music video is going to win here, obviously. But I will say, I really enjoyed Immolation of Night. Really awesome one. I also really liked Ultraviolet by Spirit Box, because like, I remember reacting to it and I was like, holy shit. There's so much production in this. It was like a one-shot uh, video. It was insane. Uh, and then for the last one, I'm gonna pick The Plot and You Forgotten. That's my personal favorite this year. It's just such a visceral, disturbing kind of thing. It is It is one of the most unique videos, and I really loved it. I would vote also for Offworlder, but I can only pick top three. Offworlder was really good as well. Um, it had amazing fighting choreography in it. But, I don't know, visually it didn't really captivate me as much as these three. Best Breakthrough. Oh. So this category awards the artist who has broken through the mainstream, or not the mainstream, but like the wider audiences, uh, with a single, an EP, or an album this year. So I have a bunch of options here. I think it's safe to say that Sleep Token is 100% the top. <laughs> Insane amount of popularity this year, so... Definitely Sleep Token is there. Uh, the next one is... Ooh, this is quite tough. I do want to say Dying Wish, because I really enjoyed seeing more and more people getting um, coverage on them, more reaction videos and such, uh, in the build-up to the album, which was an incredible album. So I'm happy 
I'm happy to uh, pick Dying Wish here as well. I guess you could argue that Throne had a massive North American tour for the first time with uh, Invent Animate, so that is definitely a point towards them. I'm going to go with... Whew, this is tough. I really want to vote Mood Ring, but I, I really don't think, as much as I love Mood Ring, I don't really don't think they quite broke through. They're still very unknown for an average listener. I'm going to vote here for Mood Ring, just because I love them. <laughs> um, rigged! Rigged! I love Mood Ring, though. Best collaboration. Okay, so this one's quite fun. We, of course, have Bring Me the Horizon, which is the most logical pick here. A little Uzi Vert. Like, come on. That's crazy. For the next one, I actually really, really, really love Don Broco. Birthday Party, the, the Party in the USA remix. Not necessarily because, like, any of the features I knew who they were. Because I didn't. They're, like, a bunch of small artists. But I thought it was... It transformed the song in such a funny way it actually felt like a party. Actually, you know what? I'll remove Bring Me The Horizon because I, I realize I don't really listen to the song as much. Instead, I'm gonna pick Silent Planet, Euphoria, because that feature added so much to the song. And that's what I feel like what features should be doing. It should be... What the fuck is playing on my shuffle? <laughs> PewDiePie. The last one, I really want to vote for Megan The Stallion. I really want to vote for Megan The Stallion Cobra because it's Cobra. Because it's, it's such a funny, unexpected feature. I mean, I have to. I have to because it's, it's the biggest um, metalcore featured track of the year. I mean, Megan Thee Stallion. That's like mainstream, mainstream. Best comeback. Ooh. Ooh, best comeback. So this one judges basically on how long the band has been away for. Um, and, you know, their comeback, how they've come back this year, whether it's a single or an EP or an album. Out of all of these, I was very excited for Texas in July. Awesome EP, amazing comeback, JT on the vocals, you know, gotta love it. I will also say Veil of Maya with the new album was an absolute, absolute insanity of an album, so happy for them as well. Now the last one, I'm gonna go Icy Stars, because it's one of the most fun bands I've listened to this year, and it only makes sense for me to vote for them, because they've been away for a while, and they came back with some amazing singles this year, so I'm voting Icy Stars. I'm not gonna vote Avenged Sevenfold, guys. <laughs> You can watch my album reaction to the new Avenged Sevenfold album <laughs> if you want to know my opinion on their comeback. But that's that's my picks. That's my picks. Uh, next up, best buzz. So a lot of people were confused about what this category actually meant. <laughs> so I, I decided to put in uh, a little explanation here in the image. This is the artist that people would not shut the fuck up about the whole year round. Names and bands you've heard everywhere. Everywhere. I'm gonna go Buster, because, I mean, it's Buster. You hear Buster everywhere. Buster, 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 you know? Uh, I will also say Invent Animate, because everybody was talking about Invent Animate this year, because, I mean, deservedly, they dropped an album, an amazing album. Uh, and for the last pick, I'm gonna go Sleep Token, because, I mean, that's just what it is. Sleep Token blew up. Blew up. So, Buster, Invent, Sleep Token. Anyways, the next one is super exciting for me. Best a band to watch in 2024. So this one was like a... These two actually categories are the new additions this year. Super excited to see what people pick here because I've picked some of the th bands that I think would be worth keeping a close eye on in next year. Here I'm gonna go easy Imminence. Imminence 100% is like one of my most exciting bands next year. So I definitely go Imminence. Uh, I will also say The Plot in You because I was super intrigued by what they've created with the three singles they have so far for this new album. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a close eye on the plot in you. And the last vote for me is very, very split. There's like honestly if I could I would vote for all of them. I would vote for all of them. But it's just so difficult. It's just so difficult. I have to pick one. Throne is playing in the background right now because autoplay. <laughs> um so it's like like, yo, Bogdan, you should vote for Throne. I really want to vote for Alt. I also really want to vote for Loathe. Because deep in my fucking heart, I, I need the new Loathe album. But I also really need that new Alt album. So what I'm going to do here is vote for a smaller artist. Everybody knows Loathe. Everybody's already keeping an eye on Loathe. How about we keep an eye on Alt instead? So these are my three picks. <laughs> All right, big guns, big guns. Best EP of the year. So we have quite a bit more to choose from here. I wouldn't say there was like a singular massive 
best EP for me personally this year. There were a lot of really good ones, but I couldn't pick uh, like my favorite favorite, easy favorite, you know? Gentleman was very good. For those of you who don't know Gentleman, Gentleman is uh, Moist Critical's uh, new, new thing. Or not new, but they've been doing it for a while. Uh, I will, I will say Cat's Claw was very good. Cat's Claw was very good. So I'll vote for Cat's Claw as well. Um, well, that leaves me in a very difficult position because there's a, still a lot of really amazing EPs. Even with three votes, this is difficult. Can't imagine if I only had one vote per category this year. Mm, I'll do Texas. Gentleman was just a, it was a funny meme. <laughs> But it was actually like unironically good songs. Actually, no, I'll vote for Mood Ring. I just enjoyed it a lot more. I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm happy with this chat. Uh, best song. God, this is where it gets fucking insane. This is where it gets absolutely insane. Oh my God, chat. 30, we have 30 options. They're not even all fitting on the screen. That's crazy. Song of the year, song of the year. Oh my God. Atina Subway Anthem was very good, yes. More Power, More Pain is my most listened to song, so maybe, maybe that's a pick. Are We Even is a fantastic track by Icy Stars. Ah, Labyrinthian though, holy. This is more difficult than I thought. Okay, well I have to, I have to get the obvious ones out of the way. Invent Animate, without a whisper, easy. So easy. Hmm. Ooh, Resolve actually, Resolve is also very good. I will say Antimatter is like a massive track for me as well. I haven't listened to it as much, <laughs> evident by my top 100 most listened to tracks, of course, but it was such a weird new direction for Silent Planet, and I, I was just so in awe of it. Yeah, the plot in you, Resolve, I'm like, I'm really struggling. North Lane as well, Dante was a great track. Damn, this is difficult. This is difficult. I'm gonna go with... Oh, I'm gonna go with Resolve. Why can't I pick both? No. Oh, this is hard, man. I'm gonna go with Resolve. I'm gonna go with Resolve. I'm sorry the plot in you. Okay, I think I'm happy. Advanced, Silent Planet, Resolve. That's my songs of the year, Without a Whisper, Antimatter, and New Colors. And that brings us to the last category, and by far the most difficult one. Actually, probably, probably Song of the Year is the most difficult one. Because Best Album, honestly, I kind of have my top three already. <laughs> I'm gonna go... Let's get the easy ones out of the way. I'm gonna go invent. <laughs> mm, this is this is gonna be crazy. Okay, let's see. Let's go through these. Akasha Strain, uh, Emity, Alt, Atina, August Burns Red, Burtooth, Burry, Tomorrow, Chamber, Currents. Dying Wish was very good. Johnny Booth, Gideon. I'm gonna go Gideon as well. Gideon was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic from start to finish. Graphic nature, oh, fuck. Guilt Trip was amazing, Half Me was good. Holding Absence was great. Humanities was heavy as shit. Jesus Peace was also incredible. Mouth for War, Nothing Nowhere, Of Mice and Men. Periphery, I forgot Periphery existed this year, holy. Yeah, I said I had my top three, now I don't. I'm not so confident anymore. So many good albums this year. This is ab absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I could go Silent Planet. Silent Planet is a viable option, I think. It's like a... Oh, by the way, for some reason it's cutting off, so I'll just scroll down. Um, these are also the options. Um, am I happy with this chat? Gideon, Invent, Silent Planet? Should I just leak this as my top three of the albums before dropping my top 10 albums of the year? Or top 23 albums of the year, actually. I feel like these are such obvious picks for me. I want to be quirky. Nah, fuck it. I'll stick with this. I'll stick with these three. Gideon, Advanced, Sleep, uh, Silent Planet. I'll stick with it. Submit. Perfect! My vote has been submitted. And in case you haven't voted, chat, make sure you submit your vote as well. Uh, and you can do so by the link in the chat. Now show us the results. Hold your horses. The results will be shown December 25th, 2023 with the annual amazing uh, fifth Hardcore Awards. December 25th, the Christmas day. No round two this year, no round two. 
because we have top three in each category, it'll it'll all be decided in this singular round. See you in the next one.